simplify. Write the answer using radical notation. Assume that all variables represent positive numbers. So since these are all square roots, then I'll be factoring each of the radicals to try to see if I have any perfect square factors. So starting with 50, well that's 25 times 2. And then I still have my x and my y. And then 72 has a perfect square factor of 36. That's 36 times 2, and I still have my x and my y. And then 8. 8 has a perfect square factor of 4, and I still have my 2 and my x and my y. Now, you can individually square root across multiplication. So rather than writing that again, I'm going to go ahead and just circle my perfect squares, knowing that I'm individually square rooting those. So the square root of 25 will come out as 5. And then these, there's no perfect squares left, so we still have a 2 and an x and a y left. And the next term, I can take the square root of 36 separately, which is 6. But then there's no perfect squares left again, so I have 2xy. And then finally, I have the square root of 4, which is 2. And I still have square root of 2xy left. And now when we look at these, we see I have like terms. So I have 5 square root of 2xy's plus 6 more, which will give me 11 of them. But then I have to take away 2 of them, giving me 9 square root of 2xy.